This next question is an interesting one, primarily exploring people's often knee-jerk reaction to see a movie they hate, and it comes from Lance. Why, just because you don't like a movie, does it automatically make it the worst movie of all time? I assume he means the royal you in that case. Anyway, you see a lot of cases online where somebody walks out of a movie they hated and they instantly declare it the worst movie they've ever seen. Which does make sense, as we are reactionary species. And if someone has just spent two hours watching a movie they did not like whatsoever, they would most likely be annoyed and declare it terrible with no redeeming qualities, and the worst thing put to screen. And with the current age of social media, where we feel the need to express our thoughts instantly, our fingers do the tapping, and a second later it's out there on the internet that someone is declaring Venom the worst movie they've ever witnessed. And if somebody came out of Venom and found absolutely nothing to praise about it, and felt it did not work on any level, that's certainly an acceptable response. But you know how when you were a child and you declared something your favorite movie at the turn of a switch? For me, The Lion King was my favorite, and then I became obsessed with Toy Story, and then I thought Inspector Gadget was the greatest movie ever made. I think there was even a brief period where I declared Flubber my favorite after only a single viewing in theaters. Even when I started getting serious into movie watching as a teenager, my favorite movie jumped from Jaws to The Godfather to The Shawshank Redemption. Well, the same can happen to a lot of adults, only when naming their least favorite movie of all time. I've seen many comments online about how Star Wars The Last Jedi was the worst movie they've ever seen. If you hate that movie, then that's fine. But can you tell me with a straight face you did not think the special effects, or the production design, or even one of the performances was good? I think a lot of this has to do with how people seem to get angry when they see a movie they despise, and thus this leads to a number of hyperboles being dropped. I certainly saw a lot of this when the Emoji Movie was released. Was the movie mostly uninspired, unfunny, with dull characters, scenes that just existed to plug products, and a ham-fisted message that also contradicted itself? Yes, I would agree with that consensus. But I don't even think it was the worst anime movie of that year, let alone of all time. I would certainly take the visual look of the Emoji Movie over whatever Norm of the North was. I actually saw a tweet that asked what movie made people the most angry. Naive little me, I expected the responses to be filled with documentaries showing the horrors of war crimes and sexual assault. You know, things we should get angry about. And instead, it was mostly people ranting about movies like Jurassic World and Jupiter Ascending and Suicide Squad. I mean, I was not a fan of any of those movies either, but all I could think was, calm down. I don't know why we have to get so angry at what ultimately amounts to mindless entertainment. I'm not saying don't criticize them. Absolutely criticize them and explain every little thing you hate about them. I did a video last year where I compared the Garbage Pedal Kids movie and the Oogie Loves, two movies I had no positive things to say about them, and certainly rank near the bottom of films I've ever seen. But after watching them, I mostly just shrug my shoulders, explain my thoughts in the video, and I've not really thought much about either since then. But you know what I do consider my least favorite movie of all time? Red Desert, a film I saw all the way back in 2008, and while there have certainly been competitors, nothing has dethroned it. I have yet to see a movie reach the depths of Red Desert when it comes to no proper character development, a story where nothing of interest happens, stoic acting from even talented performers, a drab, lifeless, and ugly visual look, and the worst pacing imaginable. And yet, I rarely, if ever, think about that movie. Unless I'm asked what my number one worst movie pick is, of course. One of my favorite film critics, Mark Mode, has said that if you immediately declare something the worst movie you've ever seen, right after stepping out of the theater, he's got some schlocky Z-grade grindhouse pictures to show you. And I think that's an appropriate answer to this question.